Hello, this is John Troxtel. Uh, this is my first video about learning the basics in Form Z for the absolute beginner. These days it seems like every time we turn around, some new software, app, or program has become the flavor of the week. Many of our new and potential clients demand that you use this or that app so that your work fits seamlessly into the existing workflow or pipeline. So, I made this video to help people like me to develop a plan similar to mine to solve this ongoing issue. The first question you need to ask your potential client is, what exactly is the end product you expect from me? Their answer may be as simple as I need to put this video, still image, slideshow, 3D model, animation, spreadsheet, text on the internet. Or the answer could be as complicated as I need this AutoCAD version 2013 file to send to my client at Disney with links to 32 other files created by others on my team. Your next question will be to ask if they know the file type that is needed for the end product. For this video, I've chosen Form Z by Autodesis. This program is very effective for 3D design, rendering, animation, and I've been using it for over 15 years. Why do I love Form Z? It's also compatible with Maya, Softimage, AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Rhino, 3D Studio Max, and the entire Adobe Creative Suite. It's easy to learn and start making things right away. When learning new software, I read the specifications of the software before I purchase it. I usually download the trial version. These vary, but most trial versions are for 30 days or a month. I ask the seller of the software, uh, how many other programs can this software work with? Uh, you'll find this under the import and export options. I'm going to go right up here under file, go down to import. Click on that, and it's going to show me. You can see I have to click on the file format down here, and it's got a lot of different kind of files that we can use to import into Form Z. In 3D, you need a minimum of these file types. You need DXF for AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Maya, Softimage, and 3D Studio Max. You need OBJ for Mudbox, ZBrush, Maya, and SolidWorks. You need Collida files for Unity 3D, the Unreal Engine, DAS 3D, Poser, and you need step files for SolidWorks and more elaborate CNC applications. In 2D, you should be able to save as a JPEG, a uh, PDF, EPS, or a PNG with an alpha channel, and a TIFF in Form Z. So you can see that all the file types that I just mentioned and a few more are under that menu. And next, we're going to do the interface or a working screen tour. This center section right here is what we call the main viewport. This is where we build our 3D objects. You can see how I'm, I'm just using my mouse to scroll in and out. It allows me to zoom back and forth on whichever part of the screen that I'm focusing on. The other tool to move around easily on the screen is the hand tool here. This clicker up there in the tool dock and I can just kind of pull it around to the center where I want it. Okay, let's take the interface tour for Form Z. After the installation and launch, the Form Z interface on a Mac or PC is pretty much the same. With Form Z set to its default setting, you'll see a screen that looks just like this. The center grid in the main window, as I mentioned earlier, is called the viewport. This is the 3D space where we can see what we're building in a variety of different ways. Next, let's look at the four windows that surround the main viewport. On the left are the modeling tools. These are the tools we use to create and modify most of the 3D objects that we create in Form Z. Above the main viewport is the tool dock. We put commonly used tools and palettes here concerning the view orientation, view types, and how we move around in 3D space. On the right, you'll find the palette dock. There are lots of palettes in Form Z that help us pick tool options, textures, colors, lighting, layers, and many more important palettes we can add or remove from this dock at any time. The small window below the main viewport is for snapping. This allows us to choose which grid we're going to want. Right now we're set on the XZ grid, but we can just click on the other icon and you'll see it changes to different orientations. I'm going to put it back on the XZ setting. This concludes part one of the Form Z tutorial series. Please join us for part two where we will create our first project, the 30-second chair.